All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful day here in the end times. It is. It is a Wednesday, a spectacularly gorgeous Wednesday afternoon, April nineteenth, twenty. 23 and a little dog and I we're up at Cloudland Canyon State Park in uh, <coughs> the very northwest corner of the great state of Georgia and uh, anyway just killing time recovering from our hike we just took so anyway, uh been meaning to do this rant today and I'm just now getting the getting the opportunity sitting here and enjoying this lovely afternoon. So uh <clears throat> a couple of you I have heard from folks on more than one occasion, both I and that little eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles, you know asking why I have never talked about two subjects, two subjects that apparently are just, you know, just of great interest to people even here in the Dumasphere. <clears throat> and they're just confused why I have never, as far as I know, never mentioned either one of these uh, stories that are so critical to what is going on on this planet, and that is, of course, uh, the two issues <clears throat> is the, what is their name, Dominion, some sort of uh, <clears throat> Dominion there, some sort of, uh, I, I, I don't know, what do you call them, a, a voting machine maker? suing Fox News for being lying sacks of shit. Someone is claiming <clears throat> that Fox News is a pack of, you know, bold-faced liars masquerading as journalists spreading unadulterated horseshit that they pulled out of their ass. So, uh, why has uh, neither Hambone Little Tor Tail the Little nor Sam Mitchell ever mentioned the Dominion Fox News uh, kerfuffle, which I guess had some sort of closure yesterday? And, you know, going, well, I don't know if you would say going hand in hand with that. I would say more like going neck and neck uh, with that is the equally important story on this planet, which may or may not, I, I read some vague reference references in the mainstream media headlines, maybe this reached some sort of culmination yesterday, and that of course is the little kerfuffle uh, between <coughs> Ron DeSantis Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and Disney World that uh, apparently uh, there is some sort of little, little, I don't know, some little chest beating match going on between some fucking Republican governor of Florida, maybe pre the soon to be president Ron DeSantis, and th these fucking uh, corporate planet-eating uh, whores at the Disney Corporation. So anyway, I was going to uh, do a, a video on everything you need to know. This is especially aimed at doomers, but even any normies, even any normies listening to this, I was going to do a, uh, originally the title, What Every Doomer Needs to Know About the Dominion Lawsuit and the Disney World Kerfuffle. Uh, but I'll just change it to what anybody needs to know. So I was going to do this, but Sancho Panza, the little dog, 
has uh, asked if he could uh, take over this rant since, uh, you know, he feels like that he's clearly the star of this show, yet I treat him as second fiddle. So we're going to turn this rant over to uh, <clears throat> Sancho Panza, and Sancho is going to explain to all of us doomers and normies everything anybody needs to know about the Dominion lawsuit against Fox News and the little kerfuffle between Ron DeSantis and Disney World. And if he leaves anything out, I'll come up maybe with some comments at the end. But uh, we're going to let Sancho Panza take over from here. Oh, I can't look through the viewfinder. So I'm hoping we're going to get Sancho in the viewfinder. Okay, Sancho Panza, I know you're exhausted from your hike, but you have been waiting for so long. I want you to look into that camera, little dog. Look into that camera right there like that. That camera like that. And you tell anybody listening, doomers or normies alike, everything they ever need to know. Let's start with the... Dominion Corporation lawsuit against Fox News. Tell us everything we need to know about that. Okay, I agree with that. Every word you just said about it, I 100% agree with Sancho Panza that he has really distilled, I, I, I mean, a hell of a lot more than uh, Tucker Carlson ever could. Uh, we have heard everything we ever need to know about any body, any multi-billion dollar voting machine or anybody else insinuating that Fox News is not a real news service. It is a fake news service on every level. Okay, so Sancho Banza, now that you so adequately summed that up, I want you to look into this camera now and uh, give us your penetrating analysis of everything everything anybody listening to this ever needs to know about the kerfuffle between Ron DeSantis and Disney World. Look over there, please, and tell us everything we need to know. Take it away, Sancho Panza. Okay, I agree with that. I agree with that for the second time, and I have really got to bring this little dog on more often to comment on uh, the big news stories going around, but I do want to add just a couple of comments. I uh, There's nothing I can add to Sancho's analysis of everything you need to know about the Dominion lawsuit claiming... Fox News are a bunch of lying sacks of shit, uh, but I would like to add one thing uh, to the Ron DeSantis Disney World kerfuffle, and this is everything you ever need to know about Disney World. Now, uh, who is that? Oh, I'm having a... Uh, a a uh, senior moment, uh, Carl Hyacin from the Miami Herald uh, has 
commented extensively on pretty much everything you need to know about Disney World. Uh, but kind of summing up what Carl has already said, Disney World, if, if I had to, you know, with all the competition, with the possible exception of the Kennedy Space Center, maybe, but not even that, I know, not even the Kennedy Space Center, if I had to go around the state of Florida, the single most raped, pillaged, ecologically devastated of the 50 states, a, an, an absolute garden of Eden that I remember from my childhood, if I had to go around that state and look for the single biggest environmental criminal uh, who, who should just be obliterated off the face of the earth, it would be Disney World. Make no fucking mistake about everything you need to know about Disney World. Disney World epitomizes every single thing that is going wrong on planet Earth. It is one of the great poster children for the ecological destruction, not to mention the dumbing down of the human race. It, it, the, and the, it, everything about Disney World is devoted to clueless fucking morons. It is the lowest common denominator, vanilla normie uh, poster child. Uh, you know, talking about these clueless fucking morons having no fucking clue how their consumer and lifestyle choices, what it is meant for and, and this the absolute, just indefensible ecological destruction of, well, in this case, and one of the most gorgeous spots in the United States of America. Uh, it, 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 Disney World, and, and I mean, pretty much by default, anybody who patronizes Disney World uh, offends me on a cellular level. It, 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 it is absolutely offensive to anybody with one fucking ounce, one fucking ounce uh, 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 of critical thinking and discernment that to, to entertain uh, these, cl these armies of clueless fucking morons from all over this planet dumping, uh, good God, how much money. Uh, down that fucking toilet so they can go do whatever they do so they can go, I don't know, uh, bump uglies with a fucking mouse. Uh, the, the, just the unbridled uh, desecration and, and profaning uh, of one of the great Garden of Edens that uh, used to uh, exist in Florida. I, I mean, everything about it. It, it. it epitomizes everything that, that is wrong with the now shithole state of Florida. Uh... And, uh, and by extrapolation, the entire planet. This is why I have never set foot in Disney World. Same reason that, uh, th that I cheer on uh, whoever that little fucker was, boycotting Bud Light. Uh, my problem uh, with Disney World is the same problem I have with Bud Light. That the very concept of Disney World, like the very concept of Bud Light, offends me on a cellular level. It makes me want to vomit.
it needs the the the, the not only the, does Disney World need to be shut down by Ron DeSantis or anyone else. It needs to be shut down. It needs to be bulldozed. It needs to be obliterated off the face of the earth. Uh, it needs to be eradicated uh, like the cancer on this planet that it is and rewilded like Chernobyl. Uh, this is why I have never set foot in Disney World. I have boycotted it since the day it was born. I was a teenage boy when they created Disney World. And so my mother, uh, you know, we went down to Florida every year. So she just assumed, uh, you know, I think I was like 12 when they opened that fucking uh, nightmare. And and my mother just thinking, I, I, you know, I'm looking at it. I said, Mom, why the fuck would I want to ever set foot in that fucking cesspool. I was a 12 year old, you know, I was a teenage boy being offered a free ticket to Disney World, okay? I was offended by the concept of Disney World every bit as much when I was a fucking 12 year old as I am 50 years later. Uh, anyway, it's the, the this, it, it, that's all you need to know about Disney World. Now that you understand everything you, that you need to know about Disney World, if you ever set foot in that fucking hellhole, if you ever give those motherfucking planet-eating, just, just monsters one penny of your money to support those motherfuckers. You are every bit uh, as guilty of being a clueless fucking moron as anybody else on the planet. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Fuck Mickey Mouse. Fuck Donald Duck. But anyway, Sancho, I just had to add that. But you got it right, I mean, uh, about the, the, the little uh, kerfuffle uh, about Ron DeSantis versus Disney World. You did understand that correctly. Uh, everything you need to know about that particular story. I just wanted to give some backstory to that. And with that, uh, I guess we've wasted enough time. And we have to go get us a pizza. Because we're getting hungry. Bye, guys. Fucking Disney World. I am at this absolutely gorgeous place. It looks like there is one other person here on this gorgeous spring day. Uh, $5 ticket to get into this beautiful uh, slice of nature. There's probably 50,000 fucking clueless morons uh, duking it out to spend 200 fucking dollars uh, to go suck Mickey Mouse's dick while I... Uh, Listen to it out here. Get your fucking priorities straight, people. Bye, guys.